Zoom has mail and calendar. Let's walk through the demo. At Zoomtopia, it was announced that Zoom has mail and calendar inside it. And why do you even care about that? Mail and calendar have been around for a thousand years. Well, here's the cool thing why you care about it. By the way, my name is Patrick Kelly. I'm a Zoom Distinguished Architect. I do work for Zoom. I am not a figurehead or a spokesman for Zoom. I just like to talk about cool technology, and sometimes that has to deal with Zoom. And that's exactly what we're going to talk about today is the Zoom client and the updates that are within it. And here's the cool thing about having mail and calendar inside of a UCAS client. Mail and calendaring are part of UCAS, and that's really an important concept because people think of unified communication as a service as just meetings or, or just webinars or just phone. No, it's still, it's even chat. It's, it's uh, SMS, it's mail, it's calendar. It's everything combined into one client. And that's exactly what Zoom's trying to solve is what we call application affinity, context switching, toggle taxing. This, this is really where we're talking about is that users spend, according to Harvard Business Review, users spend 9% of their workday switching between applications. Oh, the average knowledge worker switches between applications 1,200 times a day. This is a monster ineffective way to literally do your work. Zoom's trying to solve for that. Bringing in mail and calendaring just really makes it stay inside of that Zoom client longer. Make sure users stay inside of that Zoom client longer. And what does this solve? Context switching, right? Is the ability to do your UCAS work inside of one client. And that's what we're going to demo today. All right, so let's uh, let's let's kind of dive right in and, and check out what it looks like, the, the mail calendaring service inside of Zoom. And the cool thing about it is Zoom is an agnostic player in this space. There's two major uh, mail, mail service uh, providers in the world today for most enterprises, most consumers, uh, most SMB, most major markets use two, right? One of two, Gmail, Gmail of, from Google, of course, and then Microsoft, uh, whether it's uh, Exchange on-prem or Exchange online, those are the premier players in the enterprise mail field today. Zoom did announce, by the way, that they were going to start a, a mail service. We'll talk about that more uh, later, but today we want to talk about the mail and calendaring client inside of the Zoom client. So let's uh, kind of look at what it looks like from a user's perspective. And we'll go right to our, our demo here is that this is, you know what the Zoom client looks like. This is a Zoom client. Uh, and if you haven't updated your client, do so. I, I don't remember the exact version. I'll, I'll put it in the, <laughs> the, the comments uh, above. Uh, but the, the version you're going to need is probably not the version you have unless you've updated your client recently. And here's, if you don't have to update your client, by the way, here's how to do it. Check for updates. I just did it today. Uh, it's uh, November 30th. Uh, and this is the latest client on November 30th, 5.12.9. You don't need this latest version, but uh, that's what I had. So I upload, updated uh, my uh, test version today to that version. Now, what that gives me is this. You can see right up here, I now have a mail and calendaring icon. Now let's configure it in the next demo. Okay. Well, once you click on the mail icon, you're going to come up to a, a, a connect uh, to mail and calendaring service. I, we just mentioned there was two major ones. There's two choices here. Sign into Google, sign in with Microsoft. This account right here is my demo account. I've already have a, a email set up with this uh, admin account. I have a little hair right there. <laughs> a little beard whisker. Um, so let's, uh, let's just sign into the Microsoft one. I've already also, by the way, logged in with SSO from a, from a, from a Zoom perspective. So it's going to actually automatically pull those credentials from the, the, uh, the login password and username that I logged into the Zoom client with, and it'll automatically log on. So let's just sign in with Microsoft and boom, I have all of my uh, exchange online mail now inside, inside of Zoom. All of this mail is literally a reflection of what's in Exchange. So if I went to Outlook Web Access, I would have this exact same mail. If I went to Outlook Client and I configured it to point to Exchange Online, I would have this exact same mail as well. All of the folders that I have inside of my Exchange uh, client, my, sorry, my Exchange email server, as well as my Outlook client are all right here. This is a test account, so you can clearly see I don't have a lot set up, but you get the point. I can create folders inside of here. I can go to RSS subscriptions inside of here. I can see my drafts. I can see my sent items. Everything, this is basically you're making Zoom a window into everything on the, on the mail side. I don't care if you read my mail because it's all test stuff. 
Calendar is the same thing. This calendar is a reflection of the free busy information inside of Exchange Online. All the meetings are, are just bogus meetings that I have set up in my in my tenant uh, for this uh, for my uh, my MOD administrator account. And now I can re do uh, I can view both all of my email and all of my calendar without leaving the Zoom client. Why that's so powerful again is now that allows every single knowledge worker information worker to view all of their chats inside of Zoom, all of their mail, all of their calendar, all of their meetings inside of Zoom, start all of your webinars, breakout rooms, attend meetings, create meetings, all inside of Zoom without ever having to leave the client. You can also create meetings inside of here. So inside of inside of my Zoom client from my calendar, I can now create new events, obviously new Zoom meetings. Literally, it pops out a bar on the right side, this calendar bar that allows me to configure all of my meetings right here, passcodes, waiting rooms, everything that I want. I can add inv invitees. I can add just Patrick right here and he can just, and boom, all of my, my, uh, my users that are Active Directory integrated users pop up right here. I can literally send a meeting invite right to uh, Patrick, right from my Zoom client. This is a Zoom meeting inside of uh, the calendar service inside of, uh, of the Zoom and mail and calendaring service. What this allows me to do is now I can get a firsthand look on the right side on a sidebar of all the meetings I have today. I can tell if they're Zoom meetings or not. I can literally start the meeting right from here without ever having to get out of the calendaring service. Again, uh, cutting down on mouse clicks from a user perspective, allowing them to stay in the Zoom client longer. Hopefully you're, you're starting to see the power of having mail and calendaring service built inside of your, of your UCAS application. What this allows users to do is be more effective. Uh, be more productive without ever having to leave the client. They can read their email. They can consume their email. They can literally actually forward their email. Look at this. There's no Visio services discontinued. I could consume this email, but I can also reply to this email right here. I can reply all to this email. I can forward this email. I could star it, mark it as unread. I can do all the things I've done. I could do in Outlook or Outlook Web Access inside of, of the Zoom client. And notice really what's so, so cool is that I've kept the calendar bar open the whole time. So that way I can navigate exactly what meetings I have for the day, but I could also see what meetings I have tomorrow or the next day. Again, I haven't left the Zoom client to do my, my duties as a, as a UCAS user, as a knowledge worker, information worker. I can do everything from the, the Zoom client, including new mail, right? If I just want to do a, do a brand new email, I can literally fire it up. And, and again, I can just type in Patrick here. I'm going to pull up using Active Directory. I'm going to pull up all those users inside of, of my Active Directory client and allow me just to, to pop on a couple of letters and boom, I can actually start emailing them right away. This is this is a super powerful tool and hopefully you can understand the 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 what what Zoom is trying to solve in this regard. So there's a couple of things too that we can um can we look and look at for for settings inside of the client as well. These are the sh ones I've shown you are certainly the the static settings, uh but these can be changed, right? If you go right over here to settings, I can literally go from a list view, which is the the default view. I actually like the split view, which allows me to not only see the list view, but I can see all the, the I can get a preview of what that email looks like and contains. Again, saving me the t the hassle uh, of double clicking on it. And you're, you're like, Hey, Patrick, this is just to double click. But think about that. Every time you read an email, that's a double click. What if I could just cut that down to one click? And then I times that by the emails I have per day, per week, per year. And you can see how we're creating this application affinity is really creating more effectiveness and for more productivity for your end users. You can clearly see that I have 176 emails I haven't read, which is cool. It's a it's a really quick way to, to be have a visual uh, indicator of what's going on. I can literally see there's a little red dot, meaning I have emails as well. Zoom's did a really good job of, of creating this, this environment where you can literally toggle between chats, calendars, mail, all, all from a single application uh, with one mouse click between literally all those modalities. Well, that's that's kind of it in a nutshell. Uh, this is this is the Microsoft side. Uh, I I don't have. I well, I do. I just don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> take the time to show you the Google does the same thing, right? All the things that you would have in, in Google Gmail, uh, you can be able to utilize inside of, of the zoom client. 
It's a quick down and dirty of the mail and calendaring service inside of the Zoom client. I I use it every day. I hope you do too.